What's really cool today is I have one wedding that ordered all the different companies I offer <laughs> for albums. So we have three different parent albums and we have the couple's final album. So I'm just gonna walk you through each one, show you the difference, and it's really unique opportunity to have the exact same wedding printed in all three books. So that is why I'm super excited today. So I'm just gonna dive right in for those of you watching at home. This is a press printed album. Uh, they, I really love them. They're a great parent album. You know, there's a lot of nice thick pages. Uh, linen cover, which all the other ones are a black leather cover. Um, so we actually did a linen cover for this one because they don't have a nice black leather. And so we just have this nice eight by eight press printed album of this wedding. So I just want you to kind of look at the color, look at the black and whites. Um, I find that the black and whites have a little bit of a magenta cast, but I am trained in color theory and uh, printing, so I don't think anybody else but me would notice it. Um, so just to give you an idea of what this press printed album looks like from Pro DPI, you know, I mean, it's a gorgeous book. I love it. And that's an eight by eight. Okay. So when you look at really busy pages, let's find a nice busy page, you know, gives you an idea of how small people's faces are, that sort of thing. Like the reception for sure. We at the end, lots of faces to look at, right? And then I think the page that I think has the least impact in this book is this page. But it's a parent album. Uh, it's still a beautiful, gorgeous album. And uh, no one would be the wiser. It's really, I'm just really picky with my books. So I have to provide a box for the parent album. Okay, the next up. So this is another eight by eight, same uh, size. This is photographic paper. So you can see a little bit brighter, more robust colors here. The black and whites are a little bit nicer. So as a color, there's a lot more contrast in these photos. So beautiful book, gorgeous parent album. This is actually for her grandparents, this book. because She's really, really close with her grandparents, that set of grandparents. And let me just show you that last page again. So this page has a lot more impact uh, than the press printed. But again, unless you're holding them next to each other, you would never notice. So it'll be interesting to see what this family does think because they will, the bride and groom will actually get to see all three books or all four books actually. Um, but then the, this is going to her grandparents, that one's going to his parents and this other one's for her parents. So that one, they, these one, these come with a black box, but I'll actually swap it out for my branding so that they match these two eight by eights and I'll get rid of this black box. I just like things matching my branding. Um, this black box does really look good with this particular album though, so it's not, a, it's not that bad that, uh, if I wanted to leave that black box, but I'm going to switch it out. Next up is the wedding album, the final wedding album for the bride and groom. What I did here was we ordered a 12 by 12 photographic quality paper. So with this one, we did that as their final wedding album for the bride and groom, and then her parents uh, ordered in a duplicate, an exact replica. So we have a 12 by 12 Renaissance uh, Soho album for the bride and groom and her parents ordered an exact replica, just a little smaller in 10 by 10. And so we've already looked at the other parent albums that are eight by eight. And now we're going to look at this gorgeous black velvet lined box, leather, leather box. I mean, it's already nicer, right? So you can charge more for some beautiful, gorgeous quality like this. It comes with this beautiful bag that you can lift the book out with. So the presentation already is infinitely better than those other two inexpensive books. So when you're really selling albums and trying to up your game and get more money for albums, you need to think about presentation. Presentation, um, packaging, all of that, branding is very important for getting a lot more money for a book. So you can see the difference already. This is a gorgeous leather, black leather, just standard black leather album. I had the name of the uh, last name of the couple put on, this, put on the edge. So you can see this is a 10 by 10 sitting on top of a 12 by 12 box, right? So this is her parents' album. And it's an exact replica from the same company 
that their wedding album is from. I would say the printing is very similar, but the price is a lot higher on our end on the cost for this book because the packaging is updated and the cover is a little nicer. The other thing we have to worry about is um, with this duplicate, I can do any number of pages. I can. This one has 26 d spreads, um, whereas those two parent albums I showed you, the press printed and the nation's photo one, they come in multiples of five spreads. So we actually had to take out this page of the groom drinking with his buddies, and we took out this page of food out of those other two parent albums, just so we can shrink it down to 25 spreads. It's not vital, not important that grandma and grandpa have him drinking with his friends, right? So that was kind of easy. And then so this is a 10 by 10. And it's just a nicer, thicker, fancier album. And it comes with this nice box and bag. Okay, so here is the bride and groom's final wedding album. And yes, you're seeing I'm wearing these white gloves. That's because the bride and groom have not seen this yet. I don't want my fingerprints and dust all over it, especially if you have a dog, a cat, kids, whatever. Make sure you keep their album in a nice safe spot locked away in your office until you deliver it. You don't want anything on the cover or the prints especially. Um, I hope that's a no-brainer for me to say that, but I feel like I need to point it out. So I actually give these gloves to them for the same reason. You're setting a tone, right? I'm setting a tone that this is a fine art album and it's to be treated with care. By the time they've paid for it, I do believe they know that, but you know, still. So you can see already just from watching this video how much bigger these pages are. This is a 12 by 12 wedding album. And the black and whites are still really beautiful, even though it's a photographic print. Uh, and you know me, I'm partial to the inkjet printing, but it's still a gorgeous book. Gorgeous wedding, gorgeous couple. So this is their final album. So that food page is right here. But the they, food was important to this couple, not because they're foodies, but because the bride's family owns this property and it's a biggest loser resort. So food in general is very important. And uh, I also included a lot more um, location photos because this is a heirloom of theirs to have this property. So I wanted to really show what it was like. The other thing, it was one of the first weddings at this location, so they can use it actually to sell more weddings, which I'm actually hoping that they buy one just for that reason. Um, but they have four albums, so that's quite a lot, right? So anyway, 12 by 12. So this page has so much more impact at this larger size versus these eight by eights. And I will actually bring up with a 12 by 12 too, you're really going to notice, like if you should have Photoshop shop something out, you'll really notice it in a 12 by 12. Uh, it's why one of the reasons I do these larger books and because in this it may not look like the most creative and most amazing photos I've ever taken in my life, but with a 12 by 12, you can really see who's watching. You can see that they all have their phones out. Um, you really notice this stuff more in a printed album than you ever would uh, on the screen, like these photo, these people back here in the background who's watching this, uh, you know, stuff like this, um, all these people. So with a couple wa look at their photo album for the first time, they're really going to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that Uncle Joe is in the photo or, or whatever, you know. So it's really cool to see it really large like that. You really just notice so much more than you do with these smaller eight by eight books for example which is pretty eight by eight is a pretty normal size for a parent album um you know this is really what what we normally do would be an eight by eight copy but her mom wanted a nice 10 by 10 which is fine with me but you see how it's just a little different it's just looking at it you know a little smaller some pages just don't have the same impact as others with a 12 by 12. So it's kind of cool. I, I'm excited. I'm going to deliver these tomorrow, get to see what they think of having all three companies that I offer. So lots of choices uh, from the same wedding, which is really kind of cool. All right, cool, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Talk to you later. Subscribe for more.